Are you trying to design a database but don't really know where to start? Let me show you the three essential design stages. Conceptual, logical and physical. Using a simple online shop example in the DB Schema tool. This is the conceptual design. We just want to understand what we are working with. We are not building real tables yet. We are just writing down the main things in our system, like customer, order, order item, and product. It's like drawing a map before you start building anything. Now that we have the main pieces, let's connect them so we can see how they work together. A customer can place many orders. An order has many order items. Each order item refers to one product. Now that we've defined the main parts of our system, let's add the details. What kind of data each one should store. That's the logical design. In this phase, our entities need fields or attributes. This will later become columns in the database. Let's start with order. First, I add order ID. It's a number, so I choose the data type integer. This will be the primary key, which means every order must have a unique ID. Then, I add order date to store when the order was placed. For that, I use the date type. Now, let's go to the customer. I add customer ID, also an integer, and make it the primary key. Then I add name and email, and use varchar, because they are text. But how do we connect an order to the customer who placed it? I add a new field to the order table called the customer ID. This is a foreign key. It means this field points to the primary key in the customer table. That's how we link them. We do the same for the last two, order item and product. We add the fields, choose the right data types, and connect them with foreign keys. Now, the model has structure, but it's still just a design, not a real database yet. Usually, the logical design is done by a data architect, and then a developer takes that model and builds the actual database from it. Before converting to physical design, you can decide how your column names should look. For example, customer ID might become cast ID based on your team's naming style. You can also set constraints, which are simple rules for your data. For example, I set order date as not null because we need a date on every order. I mark email in the customer table as unique, so we don't allow duplicates. And I add an index on customer ID in order because it's a foreign key and we'll use it in searches and joins. Now it's time to deploy your design to the database. Select the DBMS you want and the DB schema takes care of the rest. I'll choose MySQL for this example. As you can see, the tables are created instantly. You can also view the SQL script that DB schema generated automatically 
or export the entire schema as a SQL file. You need to be connected to your live MySQL database. After that, just refresh the model and choose the schema where you want to apply the design. In this case, the online shop design schema we created earlier isn't yet in the database. So we choose to create it and let DB schema generate the script for us. If this helped you understand how database design works, feel free to like the video and subscribe for more database tutorials. And if you want to try this yourself, you can download DB Schema for free. The link is in the description. Bye-bye!